Good evening, I'm Charles Rourke. And I'm Dick Jansen. And we're here for the 2013 Gretna Christmas Parade, brought to you tonight by Centra Health with a great presence in both Chatham and Gretna. And we're seeing the parade start off tonight with the Gretna Rescue Squad. And of course, I bet you they'll be traveling to Centra Health. There you can see them coming through town right now as we speak and with their flashing lights and they're getting the 2013 parade started here in uh, grand style with one of their newest units uh, here. And of course, I can tell you that uh, the folks in Gretna uh, and the Pennsylvania County area are well represented with uh, different fire units and ambulances. And our second um, unit tonight is the fire department, Gretna Fire Department on hand as well. And some of, the, some of the things that are just great is when you hear all the sirens going, all the horn and the hooting and the little kids gathered around, everyone passing through. This is one of the few times of the year where folks that come together as a community is for the parade. And you have to salute the volunteers because uh, when you go on a fire, you will probably spend three or four hours at the fire and spend another four hours cleaning up. There we have the junior ROTC from Gretna High School along with us. As you can see, uh, and, and this is this a really is a interesting. Grand Marshal coming up here, Janina Shoemaker, um, riding in Ronnie Cole's car. And uh, that crown just says it all. That's real royalty. You bet. And right behind her, we have the mayor of Gretna, Keith Motley. And of course, he's, he's definitely got the earmuffs ready for the cold weather tonight. Um, of course, tonight's parade uh, was a rescheduled event because it was scheduled to be around Sunday at 3 o'clock, but uh, there was a lot of rain going on Sunday, if you remember. Mm -hmm. So the fine folks at Gretna said, let's do it on Wednesday night, and that's why we're here in a, on a nice cold Wednesday night, but it's not raining. That's the good news. Now we've got I think this was, of the year. Yeah, this is uh, Fran Moran. Yes. And uh, Sizzin the year is, is impressive. That's something I don't think I'll ever have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> and uh, next we have business of the year, Southern States, with Bill Nichols uh, driving the Southern States truck there. And um, what a big truck. That's another thing, too. You don't, you don't see these every day. This is the, also one time of the year where there's all kinds of vehicles. Big, small, they even got the yeah. Shriners at different parades, you know, it's really, really neat. Southern State's uh, a company that uh, represented all throughout the Star News region and Martinsville and all, all about. You'll find them everywhere. And let's see, um, next here we might have coming up, uh, James. That's more Southern States. Yeah, uh, we got, um, yeah. James McDaniel, I believe, yeah. is, is walking up here at some point as well, hopefully. And uh, he's the superintendent anyway. And, and, and there, I think we have someone, Brenda Bowman. She, uh, she everybody knows Brenda. She's waving right at you, Dick Jansen. <laughs> well, well, let's wave back. <laughs> and uh, more representatives, we have little misses from all over Gretna and Pennsylvania County waving and so forth. And, you know, this is um, part of the pageant. I mean, when you, you gotta get that parade wave down. And of course, let's see, let's see if she, this next participant has it down. One thing I know, I like those earmuffs. And, uh, she, She's looking right at you. Can't you can't you tell? I mean, frozen in time. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> she might need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> now, now I know the uh, the kids. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I would give her best parade hand wave. Well, you know what? It, you know she's she's probably got a lot of, a lot of practice and a lot of experience. We've been there. seeing Little Miss and Miss Older Times Jubilee, along with mm -hmm. Tiny Miss Gretna, and also Miss Pennsylvania County. That's. Uh, some of the ladies we're going to be seeing. And we don't know exactly what order they're going to be in because the parade orders change because of the fact that we're on a new night. And there comes a grand antique car um, with some kids in the back. And you're going to see a lot of cars in tonight's parade. I, you just can't help but wonder about all the work that goes in. You see some of these vehicles, some of these floats coming through. And uh, wow, I think we got a, uh, a big, big old truck right here come rolling through. Davenport Energy, you'll find them. Uh, they're expanding throughout the Star News region and also expanding into Roanoke. But uh, they come right, they're homegrown. It's a homegrown company that's uh, made it big uh, throughout the Star News region and beyond. Mm -hmm. And just look at some of the, the smiles and looks on these folks' faces as they pass through. I mean, I think this is an event that everyone enjoys, whether you're young or whether you're old. Um, just everyone smiling and having, having a great time. It looks like the little theater is represented here. Mm -hmm. with the Christmas for Broadway. That's uh, showing at the theater just down the street there. I think they have performances on the weekend. And we're getting uh, more fire departments coming through. I believe this, this could be Blair's. No, that's actually more Gretna. More Gretna coming through right now. We're going to get ready to see Blair's along with uh, 
other little towns uh, that, that are all across Pennsylvania County. There's another unit from Blair's, of course. Um, do want to let you know that our own Charles Wells is doing the, the photography tonight, and we really do. I think he does a great job. Yeah, he, he always does a great job, he's, and he's a great guy to work with. We're, we're glad to have him. But uh, the Blair's Fire Department, and uh, if everything runs on schedule here, next we should see Mike Doss with his 1941 Chevy. That should be coming up here. Uh, 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 the next uh, part of the line up here, there you can see we're right here in front of American National Bank. Look at that. Of course, you know, one thing we here at Star News, we uh, feature the, the car shows that we do from Reedsville and so forth, and it's probably a good chance that Mike Doss has been to Reedsville or Danville or Martinsville to, to one of our car shows that we feature throughout the year on Star News. But uh, one thing we've learned is classic cars are a great part of the market. And if you look closely to some of the uh, audience out there, you might see Larry Serber's grandchildren um, out at, at the parade. We had a chance to speak with them before the parade got started. And, and you got to look close here at the dog because uh, we've got Point Blank represented in today's parade. Yeah, and I, and I, li I like the way they have that one all uh, dressed up there with the camo, the kids all in the camo. That was definitely a, a preconceived plan. And here you got something that you really don't see a lot and I really like is the old rusty beaters. Um, sometimes I think trucks are made to be roughed up a little bit. And of course, uh, oh, just wow, all the beautiful classic cars coming out. Um, you can see the folks there getting giddy on the side, moving around a little bit. We've and got then, Jimmy Dalton, uh, Thomas Tuck, Larry Short bringing out their cars tonight. Um, and it's, it's and coming out in big showing, so folks, you, you gotta love it. And of course, they kind of personally decorate them with, with, with uh, all kind of good things. We're gonna take a big commercial break, but uh, we will remind you, you're watching the 2013 Christmas Parade from Gretna, sponsored tonight by Central Health. <laughs> 